sad thing is, people are stealing from me. Okay, so I am down at the pumpkin patch. Okay. It's a really sad thing that's going on and it really got me down a little bit actually. I'll discuss that when we get down there. Okay, so I am down at the pumpkin patch and this is not a normal, uh, my, my normal farming video, but I just wanted to cover a bit what have I been up to? Because some of the content is from doing straw at the moment. So let's have something a bit different for midweek. So first weekend went really well at the pumpkin patch, had loads of people through, everyone really enjoyed it. They picked their own sweet corn, they went through the maze maze, they had rides on the horse and cart, which I will put a video in now. They are so adorable, them horses. Hi boys, hello. They pay, played on the bale play, which I also insert another video here. Picture! <laughs> That's a great picture, girls! They had complimentary pumpkin picking, uh, pumpkin picking? Pumpkin painting and pumpkin carving. Uh, we had the Welly Cafe open for refreshments. Um, we had Holly from Holly Creations doing face painting, and they even got to visit the Sunflower Graveyard. So. Everyone said they loved it. It was great value for money, which is what I got from it. Um, and they love picking the little pumpkins. However, I have noticed something and all my staff have, which is really quite sad actually. And I, it really disheartened me because it's only me that's put all this up. I've made it. I've done it all myself with a little bit of help from different people like Dan and my mum. But I put the time, the money, the effort into it building like this patch, which is behind me. And the sad thing is, people are stealing from me. I can see it. People are stuffing sweet corn in their bags, their trolleys, their prams, you know, and also the miniature pumpkins, which I'll go and find a, find some in a minute. Um, they've been going behind the backs, in the bags. What do I do? I can't exactly say, oh, excuse me, can I check your bag? I just find it really sad and I don't know what to do. I wondered, thought I'd come on here. I'm not complaining. You know, I'm not getting at anyone. I just want some advice. I'm only 22. I'm doing this all myself. What do I do? How do I get around this problem? I thought of an idea. Maybe I have to sadly go and pick the sweet corn myself and sell it that way so no one can pick their own. But I think the enjoyment is picking it and you know, oh, I've got this one, mum, I've got the big one, I've got the small one. We're going to have that for dinner tonight. And they can see, you know, they've picked it straight from the field and then it's going on their dinner table. I think that's a really important part of it, really. Um, and so do I get it around it that way? And as for the small pumpkins, I think I'm going to have to harvest them and have them right at the front where I can see them. So they're not going in, in the bags. But I don't know. Comment below. What would you do? How can you help me? Um... It's a really sad thing that's going on and it really got me down a little bit actually I'll be totally honest I thought why do people want to do that you know I keep everything pretty reasonable um, and I'm probably one of the lowest patches for price and cost around um, but anyway rant over um, now I'm going to add in a bit of how I set the patch up the preparation what I've got there um, over the past few weeks that I've been doing it I'm going to slot all this in now but thanks please comment below let me know what i can do um more harvest content coming soon and other content uh, lots of straw moving because i am still doing that um in the week when my pumpkin patch is not open i've just got one or two more videos left that i was combining in um just because i haven't managed to get them edited yet but they will go in 
Um, I'm sorry it's a little bit late. I've just been really busy with the pumpkins. But updated version is literally here now. Um, straw is what's happening at the moment on the farm. Drilling will be coming soon. Just waiting for a bit more dry weather. And uh, run over. Sorry it's boring you. Uh, let's get back on to the farming and what we've been up to. And pumpkin content. Another way. Well, it's sad. But I've had to do this. I've had to put a camera up down at the patch. So I've had to make people aware. There's a camera going up so I can see what's going on because I found people actually walking in the middle of the patch at seven o'clock the other morning. <laughs> so uh, taking their dogs for a walk around the patch, having a poo everywhere. So um, yeah, sadly I've had to put cameras up, which is not what I want to do because I want to trust people, but fortunately that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, looking over everything. Okie dokie. So, I've gone to get some po posts today and I am hunting the pumpkin patch so it was all ready uh, for when the public come um, just to help them angle the way into the patch so we don't go walking everywhere around the farm. So this is what I'm going to do today, just some posts and a bit of strength. You try not to laugh. <laughs> patch prep. We're collecting some posts, so we've got some posts, we've laid them out by eye, but now we've used a piece of string here uh, yeah, to measure out wonky. our straight line, and actually, yeah, they're more wonky. But anyway, we've got one there to put in, and then we've got some across the front. Um, we have two events, so we've got the ploughing match and obviously the pumpkin patch. The ploughing match is going to be over here somewhere, so it's just separating the two off, um, so people don't come wandering in, because um, the entrance is over there somewhere. Um, it's just to keep a barrier, really, and this is why I'm doing it. Oh, the poor sunflower, Ben. It's our fence. You can't see it too well in this light. But I think Ben and I could be hired out to do fencing, hey Ben? We've well, done a good job, I would say. Doesn't take us too long. We just need to do this bit now. We've still got a whole ball of reel left. Oh, half a bowl of string. We're using bale string. I'm gonna give some perspective of how much string the balers go through. So I've used one ball and I've managed to go the whole way around the pumpkin patch, halfway up the lane, and this is on two strands, so one and another one at the top. I've gone so far and I'm not even used half the ball of string. That's how much the balers use. Balers each side have about eight to 16 balls each side and they get through over half every day. So they probably get through minimum 16 balls, uh, maybe more every day. Okay, all fenced out, all cut down, looking very smart. Way. Are, are you filming? Yeah. Go. Down at the patch, doing some more preparation, banging some more posts in. Look, there's two stray pumpkins there. <laughs> they must have flown off and planted within the maze. Um, special ones there. Putting this post up so I can do a welcome to the maze maze post. Um, that's the entrance. Side, like that. My stuff going down to the pumpkin patch. Off he goes. I'm having a few problems with taking this down. It keeps rolling off and falling. Oh, I hope it doesn't fall off in the mud. Oh. I've now managed to get it in a stable position. In the end, I might just end up rolling it. <laughs> so what did you think of my pick your own sweet corn? 
Absolutely loved it. It's tasty. So tasty. Yeah. And it's not even quite ready yet. No, no, so in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. it's gonna be yep. perfect. So here's Jan from uh, BBC Radio Berkshire. I'm just giving him a tour of the pumpkin patch and the farm for the future of farming that they are doing in the coming weeks. Ready? Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so scary. <laughs> there we go, now you're oh, driving the tractor. Oh my god, I'm on a farmer now. I'm basically <laughs> there. That's good. Oh my god, the, the wheels on this thing are absolutely huge. <laughs> I feel more in control though. There was, I felt more rumbly last time. Is it because the seat's adjusted? Uh, because you've happens? got suspension on your seat and an airbag which pumps you up and down depending on the bumps. This one hasn't. It's the passenger seat. It's not as comfy. I can see why you like this. I can see why this is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think we need a bit more practice before we go on the road, but you're doing a very good job. It's very this is, smooth. This is good. This is how I'm meant to be doing Yeah. It. Good, good to know I'm a potential future driver. A future where, farmer right here. Yeah, if you, um, maybe this is the farming of the future. <laughs> if you ever need anyone, just give me a call and I'll come and drive you. Perfect, the perfect. <laughs> They're doing a very good job, it's very smooth. Is it? I feel like it's quite bumpy, but maybe I'm just all. No, I think this tractor's a little bit bumpy anyway, so. <laughs> it's cool, I like the wing mirrors as well. They have colossal, it does feel a bit like driving a bus, but. Like less like a bus and more like a big <laughs> go-kart. Have I made a any big sense? Yeah, I've it's never like, heard that one before, but a big go-kart sounds good. <laughs> there's no gears. I'm not kind of, I'm, I'm literally, I've got my foot on an accelerator. Yeah. And I'm moving, uh, I, I'm turning the wheel. That's yeah, we'll I'm go doing. through the yard here. So it kind of feels like an automatic kind of, go travel because there's some actual obstacles around. <laughs> there is. And then left here. So, oh, left here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm driving the wrong direction. That's okay. Up the yard again. All the bales. How lovely was it seeing Jan from BBC Radio Berkshire? Thanks for coming, it was lovely to meet you and show you around the farm and the pumpkin patch. Uh, so, what am I doing now? I am going to. Well, it's really hot. Um, it's actually stopped raining for once. I'm going to um, harvest the pumpkins. Mum's coming down with the clippers. I did 250 this morning. Let's go and do another 250 maybe. Pumpkin harvesting. So, I'm collecting those pumpkins that are in the area that I want to put stuff in. They're just gonna go away for a little bit of storage um, so I can bring them out, but they won't be in for long. But I'm putting them in crates at the minute, so hand, I'm walking around, cutting them, putting them in crates. Uh, so it's quite a big job, uh, quite hard work, but we're getting there. Okay, so I've picked them there in the front in the pallet and they're going up for storage oh my goodness look at that weather this looks like it's gonna rain look at it behind me yep so i might be at the top but i still have to clean the toilet and empty the bins so i'm going to take that bin up the whole bin in the jcb so i can empty the rubbish into our big bin in the yard um because it's full then oh i'll go and find your munchkin pumpkin now let's go and have a so here's my entrance. Welcome here. We climb through, go through the, ow, oh, the bale um, arch and in we are. Here is the entrance. The little ghost. We have complimentary carving and painting there. Um, and let's go and look at little pumpkin. Is these little cute ones. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Um, as I said, a little bit more harvest content and then pumpkin stuff and drilling and what happens on the farm will be coming. <clears throat> Thank you again for supporting me, supporting my business, watching my YouTubes. Um, and and tickets are still available. Doesn't run out to the end of October. Months ago. Tickets. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts about. What Inside for a really quick snack because I'm really hungry and not eating all day. I've just got half a sweet corn that I've just picked from this um from the patch. Oh, it's so lovely. Because I want it really quick because I need to go back out, I put it in the microwave for one minute thirty. When it's done, put a little bit of butter on it. Oh, it's so sweet.